Hi, in this lecture I'm going to show you how to quickly make a table in Microsoft Excel. Now making tables in Microsoft Excel is one of the most popular features that Excel users use the software for. Now I'm going to show you two quick ways to make tables. Now both of them basically will do the same thing, it's just that the first way is a really quick super way to make a table, while the second way will give you a bit more control as to exactly what you want formatted. Now the first way will still lead to the second way if that makes sense. It's just if you really want to make a table and you're in a rush and everything is already laid out then the first way is really quick to do. Now Microsoft Excel includes a number of different styles which you can apply to your table. So we'll be looking at how to apply these styles to your actual data. Okay, so let's get started. Right, well, I've created one table here, which shows an example of how a typical setup would look like. So here we've got three columns, sales rep, no of items sold and location. Now, the data basically just shows the amount of items that each sales rep has sold and the location it's sold in. Now, just to break down the actual anatomy of the table, over here, I've recreated the same table, except I've just labeled what exactly is data in a table and what's a header in a table. So as you can see, these three words here are basically headers. So the headers will always be your topmost row in your table. And where we put all our information, that's all data. So basically everything below our header is data. Now I'm making this distinction because later on you'll see that there's an option when you're making a table to include the actual headers or exclude them. And if you exclude them, you'll see what Microsoft Excel does to the table. Okay, so let's get started with our first way of creating a table. So we basically select our data. We then go from the home part of our ribbon to this bit here format as table. There. Now what's it done is we've been given a massive drop down menu where we've got different styles separated by categories of light, medium and dark. Now all this is doing is basically just giving us different styles of which we can apply to our Excel table. So just to match the style that we've got already, which is this orangey style, we're going to go here. Now we're then prompted with this dialog box, where is the data for your table? And this is basically just giving us the location of our data. Now remember earlier folks when I mentioned that we have separated the distinction between data and headers for our table. Well, the reason being is because Microsoft Excel will ask you, does your table have headers? Now some tables don't have headers. So for example, if somebody's just typed out the data, they may have not typed out the headers. However, most people do type the headers in tables. So when you do select your data, make sure you always select the headers as well. And you'll see that this option here is ticked by default. My table has headers. So we press OK. And there we go. You can see that the style has been applied to the table. Now it's still not quite complete. And the reason being is because our text is still slanted to the left, our numbers to the right, and our text to the left. Now this is real easy folks to correct. All you have to do is just select your data, head over to home and click here, center. Now, of course, our header also needs to be adjusted. So we select these three items and select center there. So that's how you create a table in Microsoft Excel using the first quick way. Now to change the style, you'd simply select all your data. You can go back to format as table. And if you'll notice, you can select another style, but you'll get a preview as well of your style changing. So in this case, you could select maybe this style. Or if you want something a bit more readable, then generally anything under this section here, light, is quite good on the eyes to read. Okay, so now onto our second way 
to make a table in Microsoft Excel. So sometimes what happens is you want a bit more control over your table. For example, you want to maybe highlight the first column or the first row, or you want to put later on a grand total and highlight that bottom row. Well, the second way will enable us to do this. So I've got our same data and headers here typed out. Now all you have to do is just select it all, then go to insert on the ribbon and go to table. Now we get prompted with this dialog box, which basically tells us the location of our data. And we're going to have this ticked, my table as headers, because it does. Press OK. Now you can see that an extra tab has been added here called design. And this basically gives us more options to our table. So just to look at these bits here, table style options, you've got the following ticked, header row, banded rows, and the filter button. So this is what it basically says on the tin. So we've got a header row. We want banded rows. So if you look at our style, you can see that we've got alternate rows in different colors. And we also want a filter. So you can see that the filter has been applied to each column of our table. Now, again, if you didn't want, for example, a filter, you would simply untick and the filter disappears. Similarly, if you didn't want banded rows, you could untick this. And as you can see, the alternate bands have gone. So you can use these options here to customize your table. Let's say I wanted to highlight the first column. I'd simply go here and tick. Now, as you can see, it's become bolded. Now, again, we've got our table styles here. So we can choose from any of these styles what our table is and you can see that the table will update to whatever style our mouse cursor goes over so we'll go back to our style that we had for the other tables just to match everything now again the alignment of the data and the headers needs to be done so you simply select all of them go back to home and click center there now as you can see we've pretty much got the same effect that we had when we made our table the first time, except our first column has been emphasized or bolded. So that's how you make a table in Microsoft Excel using the second method. Now I should point out folks that whichever one you do, it's basically going to lead to the same result, except the second way does give you a bit more control initially over what exactly you want on your table emphasized and what not emphasized. Now, if you wanted to, for example, add an extra line of data, how would you do it? Well, it's quite simple. You'd pretty much carry on typing. So let's just say I wanted to add an extra line. So we're going to have another sales rep. And as you can see, Excel knows that we're adding that extra row. So it's automatically highlighted our sales rep name. there. Now you can see that the formatting has extended and it's basically converted these three cells into part of our table. Okay, so that concludes this lecture. We have seen how to make a table quickly in Microsoft Excel using two methods. We have also shown how different styles can be applied to tables and we have shown how to add an extra row of data to a table. Thank you for listening and watching.